This is the PPC Tutor Podcast. Join us as we provide valuable tools, tips and resources, helping you to kickstart your PPC career. Hey guys, thanks for joining me. This is Mike and um, in this episode on the PPC Tutor Podcast, I'm going to be talking about the disadvantages of PPC. We often hear about the pros, the benefits, and all the wonderful things that PPC can do, but there are also um, challenges, uh, drawbacks, disadvantages, and it's only fair that we can, that we should highlight some of these. Uh, the pros, I'm sure many of us are aware of them, how it's measurable, how it's uh, effective in in reaching the right audiences and raising brand awareness and all those great and wonderful things but what are some of the drawbacks of ppc and here i'm talking about more ppc platforms like google ads which drive some of the highest uh, volumes of traffic sales leads and all these other things so ppc through google ads is great and and it's it's highly effective but there's some challenges and i'm just going to list a few of those one of those is the the truth is there is a bit of a learning curve with ppc so uh, in fact many people set up accounts they set up campaigns they go in there check out the interface and lo and behold it's not what they expected it's it looks um complicated you know it looks like there's just too many controls too much to learn and manage and fix and so forth the reality of it is um many people have mastered ppc and many people who are not even uh really inclined in these kind of things maybe not tech savvy and, and all this kind of stuff so, um, yeah, they, 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 they are, you know, people who've done it, but some people who struggle with it. And the honest truth is everybody needs to do a bit of learning and just a bit of adjusting to the system. So there is a bit of a learning curve. Yeah, you will need to learn about the different campaign types. You need to learn about how you can reach your audiences and who you want to reach and take some courses, take some learning. And it will take a bit of time, but not too much. You know, you don't need to go and do a degree. You don't need to do a diploma because the system really is geared to helping you set up campaigns and manage them. And that's 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 the great thing about PPC. And um, as I mentioned, lots of people do it and, and so forth. But yeah, you, you will have to take some time and learn it. And unfortunately, some people do totally struggle with it. They do struggle to make ppc work and that's for various reasons maybe they don't give it enough time maybe they they're just not of that mindset of maybe it's not a skill that they have they struggle with technology and stuff and that's fine you know you can always uh, get somebody else to do that for you if necessary and what's another disadvantage the second one is cost and expenses um for sure, you know, PPC, like many ways to advertise online, is highly measurable. You can see where each of your spend is going and so forth, and you can manage it that way. However, um, you do need a budget, and usually a monthly one. How much you want to spend, the maximum you want to spend per month in your campaigns, and you need to put some money towards that. In fact, there are maybe cheaper ways to 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 promote your business online they do take longer they do take up more time but they cost a lot more so maybe if you want to do organic search or seo search engine optimization as we call it it will take quite a long time but the results are great and the traffic is free and it costs less but if you're going to do ppc um you're going to have to set a budget and that budget is going to help you to target people. It's going to help you uh, 
just to reach your audiences and as people click through to your website or call you and all this kind of stuff um, you are going to be charged so you'll be charged what we call p on a cost per click basis so yeah there are some costs attached to it and there's no minimum amount to spend there's no maximum but uh, if you set your budget too low, you will struggle and uh, you may not get as much traffic and as much conversions as you need. So you need to set a decent budget to really see what it's going to bring and, and so forth. Now, how much should you start with? You know, that's really up to you. But many clients I work with in the US, UK, start with like $500, 400 pounds a month and then they increase it as time goes and that also includes large advertisers there are many large big companies a lot of them don't start spending thousands they start spending a few hundred dollars a few hundred pounds or euros a month and then they increase it as time goes and as performance improves and with time they start spending thousands they bring in thousands of clicks thousands of conversions and that's great but um, yeah it, it for a small business it, it is a bit of an investment uh, to commit to something like five hundred dollars a month uh, for many businesses especially in these times uh, it's it's something hard to maybe to justify but you know it's 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 more important to look, to look at PPC as an investment than a cost you know you're investing in connecting with your customers, clients, and so forth. So it's not a cost or an expense, the way we look at it. It's something that's really going to bring you business. And that's what a lot of businesses are finding. It's really effective in that way. And another way that, or maybe a, another disadvantage of PPC um, is uh, clicks don't always lead to sales or leads. A lot of people hear about PPC, how effective it is, how effective Google Ads is, and they have this notion or belief that every click or all, almost everybody that comes through to their website is going to call them and, and so forth. That's the wrong mindset to have. Um, in fact, it, it can really be a big, big, big problem because with any way to advertise, even if you think of a shop, not everybody who walks in is going to purchase. Not everybody is going to purchase at that point. Maybe sometime down the road, they, they will purchase. Some people will come into your shop and they'll hate it. They won't like it and they'll just leave. That's fine. And and that's, that's what you have to understand. Uh, but yeah, your clicks won't always lead to sales or leads. And sometimes you won't get any leads or sales for various reasons. Um, sometimes, most of the time, though, it, it's within your control. But sometimes, you know, maybe it's an industry thing and so forth. Or it won't bring you the returns you spent that you expect, which justifies uh, the, the resources that you put into it. So that's something else to know. But um, it's not a problem because what we tend to find is that conversion rates with PPC are high because many times you're targeting people who are actively searching for your products and services. So, so that's great. So, you know, think about the conversion rate in your industry. The average across board is maybe 5%. No one really knows, but, you know, it's, it's, it's a rough guess from what we see a lot. And it obviously depends on your industry, what type of products, sectors you're in and stuff. So that's something to know about. But um, yeah, sometimes you won't get those leads or sales. But you can always fix it if you really go in and look at the issues and see where it needs updating. So that's my take on it. Some of the disadvantages of PPC, uh, probably others, who knows. But you know... PPC is a great way to advertise and I recommend it for, I would say, almost every business out there. It's something you should test, uh, something you should even speak to an expert or pro about. So thank you for listening to this episode. Uh, check out the next episodes that are coming up and I 
I hope to see you soon and reach out to me if you've got any questions. Thanks for listening to another episode of the PPC Tutor Podcast. To find out more, why not connect with us online by visiting our website at www.mikenq.co.uk. Join us again next time for more valuable tools, tips and resources helping you to kickstart your PPC career.